Hello and welcome to my Sugar Rush leftovers layout and a process video of this. So I'm using the Sugar Rush Workshops Your Way kit that you could see there. This is a kit that costs $46 and I've used this lots over January because Sugar Rush has been our focus paper pack. In this kit there was some gorgeous washi tape, some um, compliments, there were heaps more than this but as I I've been using this over January. I've got quite a few other layouts already created with this kit. Not shown in, uh, and that's a stamp, the scrapbooking stamp that goes with the set. So that's an extra cost of $30.50 New Zealand. So there was heaps of papers. Um, as you can see, I've saved all the zip strips. These are good to save because they make nice little embellishments later on or can be added in lots of different ways onto your pages. Some of the pocket pages that were left. Um, and I'm going to use these probably for a little bit of layering or a little bit of background, see what works, we'll see what doesn't. So this is a photo of my daughter uh, taken when she fell asleep after a, a, at a UB40 concert. She was just exhausted having worked in one of the hot tents leading up to UB40 coming on stage. So I'm just playing with the layers of the pocket pages, seeing how these work behind the photograph or not. And playing with different ideas. I often um, sit down with pages and papers and, and the photos and just try and see what makes the photo stand out because the feature of my page isn't the papers, it's actually the photo because that's the story I'm telling. The pa pretty papers just help to tell that story or just help to present that story and the photo is part of the story. So I decided with this paper that I actually wanted the three other coloured dots, not just the pomegranate coloured uh, circles so I wanted the yellow, the um, sea glass type colour and possibly a sorbet type colour or a peachy colour there. And I wanted those in my background rather than being all of the pomegranate coloured circles. So I framed the photograph with this paper and having a look at the back side of this paper has got some gorgeous writing on it and some zip strips twisted in there. I decided instead of pocketing the pocket pages around the actual photo that I'd slip it in behind the frame that I've created with those um, with the dotty paper. More zip strips. I ended up cutting off some of this saying so that it wasn't the full length, just to add to the message of the story. And lining up the washi tape. Washi tape's a little bit harder to put out and to see what it'll look like in finished product, but I like to lay out all the pieces before I stick anything down. And so I'm doing that here with the um, kiss hug symbol and working out the colours arrangement and how that will look and I decided it's best to have the colours that are the same together for it and pulling in some hearts using a similar colour from the compliments packs as well and then I found a nice yellow heart from the stickers that I was able to cut out and stick in place to see what I thought that would look like too. That meant that I was able to do it in threes which is that design element again, the odd number being more um, appealing for design. And the little journaling tab off the compliment stickers pack. I decided to use uh, one of the stamps from the Sugar Rush scrapbooking stamp set. These are great because they're see-through, you're able to place them um, on the page to see sort of where it, you think it might look right. You could take them off as well if you wanted to and actually just put the rubber pieces on them and you get a little bit of a picture of what it will look like when you're finished with it. So I'm using the back in each stamp kit it comes with the little white foamy sheet. If you put this behind what you're going to be stamping on it helps get a better stamp impression. More even all over. And choosing colours. Uh, there's quite a few recommended colours of stamps that come with this set and I, out of my collection I grabbed the ones that they recommend and had a wee look through as to which colour would suit. 
but more often than not I end up going for the black um, and I use the archival black close to my heart stamp uh, ink, exclusive inks stamp it seems to be my most common one okay it's a good idea if your stamp is smaller than the ink pad you put it down onto the ink pad but if your the stamp that you're using is bigger than the ink pad ink pad you put the ink pad onto the onto the stamp so I'm using um, the close to my heart spray cleaner there and I rubbed it on our little stamp cleaner set just to it conditions the stamp as well as keeps it clean so next time if I use a different color the color won't leak through into my stamping okay so now I'm going to take a little bit of a um, do a bit of guesswork and lay out the piece of paper that I want behind my main frame so it's a case of putting it down and thinking well where will the main piece sit I probably should have tried to put the original the bigger frame over before I stuck them down to make sure because as you can see here it didn't quite work there's not much showing through but that's okay there's just enough there for a hint of interest behind the the dotty sheet um, there's a white border around my photo. I actually printed it with a white border rather than mounting this one on some white cardstock. I do a lot of the photo editing in Snapseed on my iPhone. Even though this photo was taken on my bigger camera, I just import it into my phone and play around with it in Snapseed before sending it to the printer. And one of the options there is the white border that I used for it. My little selfie actually also you can choose to print with a border for some reason having a border whether it's a pattern a cardstock one or printed on it just helps to set apart the photo so it just gives it that little bit of um, separation from all the papers which helps when you're thinking well what is the story here and I want people to see the photo and then want to read a bit more thinking, working out what to do next, which fits, and it's a good idea to take stock of your pages to work out what looks right, what's where, where, do, where can it handle a little bit more onto it, or where do you need to stop adding. This uh, washi tape that comes in this kit, the words that I've just used there, it's almost like a vellum washi tape, so it's kind of see-through, which is quite cool when you put it onto patterned papers as well. I felt that the um, this pink uh, pocket card here where it's got the you mount my heart at the top it just felt like it was showing too much when the other pages were tucked well behind so I was just here trying to play with different ways of breaking that up a little bit so it's less it's less prominent And using the close to my heart glue pen these are quite cool because they go on blue and if you stick them down while they're blue they're permanent but if you let them go white there's just a sticky bit there so it's semi permanent and so I have to work quite quickly with this to make sure they stick down properly and don't come off later but the semi permanent aspect has been quite useful at times to just put things down to choose where I want it and then go back and restick it properly later on. And I decided that since I still had a bit more room under this photo to stick some bits that I would have a look at the compliment stickers pack and actually um, I ended up using some of that rather than the leftover pieces of paper. Almost that colour seemed too bold for it. 
but here there's some little strips type things that came off the sticker packs that came with the compliments that just gave that little bit of a breakup that I wanted on the page. And a little bit of washi finished it off. So the next steps to add my journaling. I guess there's a lot of um, the different pieces on this page that you could use as the title, the you melt my heart or the kiss hug kiss hug or even the zip strip that says hello love and life is sweet. I um, often will have a title but the journaling is more important to me than the title and so some pages won't have a clear title but the story will be there. And I remembered that in this pack there was also some of these little gem dots. So there's a bluey colour, pinky colour and some silvery ones. And I just felt that this page needed a little bit more of a finish off. So I grabbed some of these leftover dots. And put them in, put this lot in a group of three. And then I put another blue one with a couple of white ones. A couple of the silver dots near it. I put the two smaller, so it was one larger blue and then two smaller silvers near that journaling tag there. And another little one. 